guys and welcome to the Akinon's YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to upload an image on HTML and process it using a Python script. As you guys know, Python is a great programming language that can be used to map functions to HTML code. We have two libraries like so we will be using the flash framework in this video and we will see how to upload images. So what I've done is simply I got a simple HTML code that all says doc type HTML and it's got a title of Python flask file upload example. And I've created some certain tags like select a file to upload and I've created a simple form that allows us a method of post and an input of a file and finally a input type of submit with the value submit. So I've located to the folder of the project and what I've done is I've created two folders. One is static which will hold all the images etc and the templates which will hold the HTML code. So inside templates if I open the main.html it's as simple as this select a file to upload. So let's say if I choose a file and if I go in my documents and I upload a file capture and upload that and submit there's nothing really much happening because we haven't added any Python script. So we will see how to do that. So first things first, let's go to our code editor once again. And now if I go into the main.py file that I've created, it's absolutely empty. So here is where we will be using the flask library. If you haven't installed flask library, all you need to do is go to your command prompt and type pip install flask. It's as simple as that. Simply it will install all the required dependencies and you will be done within seconds. First thing is I'll import the flask library. So what I'll say is from flask import and the F should be capital in this case. And now I'll create a flask object and I'll call it as app. So basically app will inherit all the properties of the flask app. And in the Dunder magic, I will name it as name. So basically it's referring to the app. And now what I will do is I will create a route which will basically map a function to HTML code. So for that I'll say app, the app class that I, we created on top dot route. So it's got a method route and now we can put some headrest point for in, in this case I will put slash home. Okay, so this will basically take me to slash home and obviously since we are uploading certain file the method should be get as well as post. So inside the methods, I'll create a Python list and I'll type in post as well as get. So whenever you create any method in flask, get is going to be default. But if you want to add post, you have to add it in the route section as simple as that. Now I'll simply create a function and I'll call it as upload image. So basically what happens is the route will decorate the function. It's basically a decorator which runs over the function. Let me just return the template. So what I'll say is return. So I want to return a template, right? So for that, we need to use one function called as render template, which basically returns HTML related templates. Now what we will do is we'll simply return it. So we are returning render template and inside that we will specify the name of the HTML file, which in this case is main.html. So we have basically created the simple function, which will be mapped to the HTML app. Now what we need to do is run the servers app dot run. And now we can define some port. So let me define a port of 5000 and which in this case looks good. And as you can see, the server runs without any issues and it's running on the local host. So let me just copy the local host link and let me go back to my web browser, copy this and fire up the website. Obviously it's going to say not found because we haven't added any link route of the given server link. We have added a route of slash home. So we need to simply put that in the arguments. So we will put slash home and wonderful. We get the same HTML file, but obviously nothing is going to work yet because we haven't added any functionality. So let's resume with that work. So first thing what we'll have to do is we will have to check if the request is a post or a get. So for that, if the request is a post, if the request is a post, then obviously we will have to access the image and save it in our files. So what I'll say is if request dot method 
is equal to post which is in case we are looking for then i will create a image and for that i will say image as a variable is equal to request dot files okay and the key value will be file so before you try to figure out what does this request and this files mean do not worry in flask there is a function which is known as request or i could also call it a method so basically what will request do request is useful for returning any data that is sent through the html website so what we are doing is right now we are sending an image to the html website and we are accessing it using the files method that is present in the request object and request object has this method files in which we are accessing the key of file so as soon as we access the key file we will find the value of the file name for example if the file name is capture.jpg file keyword will be pointing to that value so we are basically slicing or obtaining data from a dictionary in this just to keep it more familiarized let me show you what i exactly mean so i'll say print request dot files okay so i just want to print that method and for the moment let me just comment this code run the server all over again and it's running wonderful let me just reload the website let me choose a file and upload the capture image and if i click on submit as you can see here we are getting an immutable dictionary which has a key of file and this key file as you can see is pointing to the file name that is capture.jpg so now that we have done that what we need to check is now if the user does not input a, a empty file which does not have a name so basically what we will say if image and image has a method called as file name okay image dot file name is equal to a single quotation mark means an empty string then we will simply print a statement saying that uh, file name does, file name is invalid this is basically for us to understand when we are debugging the code and let me just lower down the portion of the output window and i'll basically return a request which will again take me back to the website where i restarted from so basically what we are trying to do is if a user inputs a file name which does not have a absurd file request it will redirect me to the current website right over again so the user has to upload the image once over again so again i will have to use one function called as redirect which will take me to a server link and what i will do is request dot url basically we are going to the same url where we were on so obviously i am using this method called as redirect which means i also need to import it from here so now we will create a variable called as file name and what we will do is we'll try to keep a secure file name that is being input from the user to prevent to prevent any type of hacking or phishing for example so what we will do is we will import something called as from workzec so i really do not know how to pronounce it so basically it's a method and it's got a utilities which allows us to import a secure file name so what i'm doing is that i'm just calling the file name and i'm seeing that we are going to create a secure file name using this method or this function which i like to call as secure file so i'll do that secure file name and the file name is present in the image right so i will say image dot file name so as simple as that so now what we will have to do is when we get the image from the website we will have to save it in a, a local folder right so for that we will have to use the os that is operating system library so for that again i will have to import that so all i'll have to say is import os so basically we are importing the operating system library so now before doing anything else we will have to create a configuration where we'll know where to save the path and basically where the data of the images will be saved for that what i will say is app dot config and inside that i will just name it as image underscore uploads okay and now 
I'm basically going to provide a relative file path to the exact location at which this folder is present. That is static. Within static, I'm going to place it in the folder called images. So I have imported the exact direct directory of where the folder is going to be present. So this is the directory. So now that we have completed that process, we can go ahead working with the next portion of the code. So basically now we are going to create a base directory and what we will say is OS dot path and we will say ABS absolute path of the current location that is OS dot path. Again, we are using the OS dot path and the directory name, which is another function present in the OS module of the file that we want to upload. Okay. Well, this sounds a bit confusing, but yeah, you need to know that we are doing this all so that we can access the exact push directory of the folder to upload our file. Now that we have done that, all we need to do is save the image to the folder. So we will say image dot save. And now what we will say is OS dot path. And we basically want to join a set of paths to save it at the exact position. And the first one will be the base directory uh, along with app dot config. That is the configuration of which the folder location is present that we did on top. Okay. So let me write down that app dot config image up. And obviously we're going to join it with the file name too, right? So the file name is obviously going to come from this variable that we, all we need to do is we need to return the render template. Okay. So we need to return a render template, which has the image on the website that we added. Okay. So what I'll say is return main dot HTML. All we now need to do is go back to our main dot HTML file and we need to add certain code that will be present to display the image that we are uploading to the website. So basically now what I'll do is I'll create a div tag so that we can place our image. And now I will say image, create the image tag and the SRC that is the source folder location will be. So we basically need to map the folder location in which the image was saved. So again for that in the parenthesis, we will use something called as Jinja templates. Basically these Jinja templates allow us to use Python code inside our HTML website. So all it does is we need to pro provide these two curly braces at the start and end of where we want to write the function. And now I'll use something called as URL underscore for. Okay. So we want to go into static. Okay. As you can see, there is this red thing, which is giving us a small issue with our code. So let's make changes in that. And now we will provide the exact file name. Okay. Again, the file name is going to come from the folder that is images. So I'll put slash images slash as well as I'm going to join it with the file name. So we'll get the exact location on which the folder is present. Okay. But there's a small issue. How would the HTML code know what is the data or the variable name? So for that, we need to again go inside the render template and we need to specify in the arguments. We will say file name is equal to file name. Okay. So basically now we are saying that inside the HTML code, the file name will be defined from this variable as simple as that. Okay. And finally, we also need to create a route which will display the image. So for that, I will use again the decorator app dot route. And now I will use the location that is a endpoint of display. I want to change that endpoint from home to display. And inside this, I'll specify a argument that is a file name that we want to display. And again, I'm going to simply create one function called as display underscore image. And I'll simply return the redirect that is the website point. And I'll say URL for the same function that I put in the HTML code. And again, I'm going to copy the same thing from the HTML code. So basically we are simply mapping the position in which the HTML code as well as the Python script is visible. So let me copy this and paste the exact same thing right over here. So there was a missing quote mark. So that completes the error. 
and we'll also provide a code which is simply used for security reasons so the code will be 301 and let's run this go back to my web browser okay go back reload okay there was a server error okay so basically now it's saying file name is undefined so what's the reason for this is so basically what is happening is when we are running the html code it's running it line by line and it goes into this diff tag and it's trying to go inside this url that is static and file name that is the given file name of the image but as you can see in the images folder there's no such file name that we are searching for and that is why it's saying file name is undefined so what we'll do is we will again use the jinja templates which will help us create certain condition like a if else condition so for that what i'll have to do is provide the curly braces and now i'll use two percentage symbols and between that i'll provide my python code so what i'll say is if file name so basically if the file name exists then we will display this div tag else we will not display it it's as simple as that and again we need to specify something called as endif simply a single word endif so let me save the file run the python script and the server is running perfect so let me go back to my browser reload so it's simply saying select a file to upload so let me choose the file and let me go back to my documents capture open and if i press on submit so basically what we have done is we have submitted the file from the html collected the file name using from a python script and we have also displayed the image on the html website using certain python script so that's it from this video guys if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the hackinons youtube channel and we'll be back soon with more fun and interesting videos